Singapore is a modern and vibrant country in Southeast Asia and one of my favourite places in the world. I visited three times now and I've put together a list of my favourite places for you to visit. Gardens by the Bay is one of the top tourist attractions in Singapore, located right by the Marina Reservoir. The park consists of three waterfront gardens and it's completely free to enter. While you're in the park, you can pay to enter certain attractions such as the Flower Dome or Cloud Forest, which are 32 Singapore dollars for non-residents. And there's another attraction, the Super Tree Observatory, which offers views of the gardens in the bay for 14 Singapore dollars for non-residents. One of my favourite things about Gardens by the Bay is the light show named The Garden Rhapsody. This show takes place daily at 7.45pm and 8.45pm and the best thing about it is that it's completely free to watch. Take a blanket, lie on the ground and you just have this incredible light show above you. I would highly, highly recommend this on your next trip to Singapore. Katong is possibly one of the greatest hidden gems for tourists visiting Singapore. It's a neighbourhood with heritage buildings and colourful shop houses. The streets are so beautiful. There's so much of this amazing wall art and the streets are lined with quaint boutiques and cool cafes. So we did a bit of shopping here as well and it was just such a nice day out. Kampong Glam is another neighbourhood which is situated more centrally, closer to the central business district. It's a popular and beautiful neighbourhood known as Singapore's Muslim Quarter. There are also stunning shop houses here selling gifts, textiles as well as restaurants and bars serving delicious food and drink. Kampong Glam is home to Arab Street where you can find the Sultan Mosque and there's also Haji Lane which is lined with trendy cafes, cool street art and amazing thrift and vintage shops. There are also loads of self-photography studios here that are so affordable and so much fun. Although many foreigners view Singapore as more of a city, there are many beaches and parks you can visit. Sentosa Island is one of the most popular places to visit and has stunning beaches and beach clubs. It's also home to Universal Studios. A hidden gem that I discovered on my recent trip is East Coast Park, which has beaches, a hawker centre, a wakeboarding lagoon, bike hire and more. I had such a great day out at East Coast Park and it was so quiet. Mandai Wildlife Reserve is a highly popular attraction for both tourists and residents in Singapore. It's home to Singapore Zoo, River Wonders, Bird Paradise and one of the world's first nocturnal zoos, the Night Safari. I visited River Wonders and the Night Safari on my trip this year. The ticket to River Wonders, the River Safari cost 42 Singapore dollars for non-residents. And look at the cutest pandas. It was like my favourite part of River Wonders was seeing the pandas. Um, and then the Night Safari cost 55 Singapore dollars for non-residents. The night safari includes a tram ride and you can also walk through the park and we saw elephants, hyenas, hippos, lions, flamingos and more. One of my favourite things about Singapore is its hawker centres, which are open air food markets where you can buy delicious local and global food at an affordable price. On my visit this year, I visited Lao Passat, which is located in the central business district, but there's other notable hawker centres such as the Old Airport Road Food Centre, the Maxwell Road Food Centre and Adam Road Food Centre. So have a Google to find out which hawker centres are closest to where you're staying in Singapore. Marina Bay Sands and Merlion Park are another highly popular tourist attraction in Singapore. Marina Bay is located in the central area of Singapore and it's home to the famous Marina Bay Sands Hotel, which is known for its architecture and stunning views of the city skyline, including the famous Infinity Pool. Merlion Park is on the other side of the bay and features a large Merlion water feature as the Merlion is the official mascot of Singapore. What is your favourite thing to do in Singapore? Let me know in the comments below and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more of my travel content as I digital nomad across Asia in the next couple of months.